वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर नेहा देसाई फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री आर बी एन बी कॉलेज श्रीरामपुर नाउ टुडे वी विल बिगिन विद द न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज आयन पेयर क्रोमेटोग्राफी सो इन आयन पेयर क्रोमेटोग्राफी द सब्सटेंसेस व्हिच कैन नॉट बी एनालाइज बाय यूजिंग द आयन एक्सचेंज क्रोमेटोग्राफी और रिवर्स फेस क्रोमेटोग्राफी फॉर सच सब्सटेंसेस द आयन पेयर क्रोमेटोग्राफी इज एम्प्लॉयड इन दिस देर इज अ पेयरिंग बिटवीन द एनालाइट एंड द काउंटर आयन सो फॉर आयन पेयर क्रोमेटोग्राफी वी आर यूजिंग द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एनालाइट अलॉन्ग विद द काउंटर आयन सो If the analyte is positively charged and a counter ion is negatively charged, then it will form a pair to form analyte and a counter ion. similarly if the analyte is negatively charged and a counter ion is positively charged then also it will form a combination such as so this is the analyte counter ion combination that means every time you are selecting a analyte and corresponding to the analyte you will select a proper counter ion so there is a formation of the pair of the analyte as well as the counter ion hence we call it it as the ion pair type of a chromatography so in ion pair type of a chromatography you have to properly maintain the ph of a substance and you have to consider the pk value of the substance so the compounds which cannot be analyzed by reverse phase chromatography or the strong acids and strong bases they cannot be separated by using the ion exchange chromatography such components can be analyzed by using the ion pair chromatography so the ion pair chromatography it is nothing but the interaction between the analyte and the counter ion now considering this the next point is what are the advantages of using the ion pair chromatography so when you consider the advantages here the reverse phase ion pair chromatography is also employed for the separation then mixtures of the acids bases and the neutral compounds they can be also analyzed by using the ion pair chromatography then when the substances they are having the similar pk values then for the analysis of the compounds having the similar pk values can be analyzed by using the ion pair chromatography
now uh, the substances such as the strong acids and strong bases which cannot be analyzed by using the ion exchange they can be separated by ion pair chromatography So all these are the advantages of using the ion pair chromatography. Now the next most important part that is what is actually the ion pair chromatography in practice. So in case of ion pair chromatography in practice. Here you have to consider the stationary phases as well as the mobile phase which is most suitable to carry out the experimentation. So in this type that is ion pair type of a chromatography you will go for either a methanol and water or acetonitrile and water to use as a mobile phase. So either a methanol water or acetonitrile water it is used as a mobile phase. Then what about the stationary phase? Most commonly C8 or C18 type of a column it is used as a stationary phase in ion pair chromatography. Now along with the stationary phase and the mobile phase the next most important point is uh, how you can maintain the pH value. So sometimes you have to consider the pKa value and along with the pKa value you will select the appropriate pH value. Now we will see here the choice of a counter ion plays a very very important role in ion pair type of a chromatography. So for the counter ions we will see the counter ions and they are suitable for the analysis of which compound. So this is our next point of interest that is so here it is counter ion and the second where it is applicable for. So if you consider the quaternary ammonium salts as the counter ion then then they are suitable for the analysis of strong and weak acids as well as the sulfonated dyes. Now after this the second is the tertiary amines.
If you consider the tertiary amines, then they are applicable for the analysis of the sulfonates. Now, after the tertiary amines, the next is the alkyl and aryl sulfonates. For alkyl and aryl sulfonates, strong and weak bases are used. Now, after this alkyl and aryl sulfonates, they are used for the analysis of the strong and weak bases. So, amphoteric molecules, they can be also analyzed by using the ion pair type of a chromatography. Now, after considering this, the next most important point is, what are the guidelines for using the ion pair chromatography? So, we will see the guidelines. So, for the guidelines, The first guideline is the for ion pair chromatography should be used when the other techniques such as ion exchange chromatography or the uh, reverse phase chromatography fails. Okay, so where the ion exchange or reverse phase chromatography fails, at that time you should use the ion pair type of a chromatography. Then you have to always select a methanol water mixture or acetonitrile water mixture as a mobile phase. Then third thing is you will use either a C8 or a C18 type of a column for ion pair chromatography as a stationary phase. Now along with this the choice of a counter ion is also a very very important step. Along with the counter ion, choice of a counter ion, we have to also check for the counter ion solubility. After considering the counter ion solubility, the next is you have to optimize the optimization and the separation of the solvent. And along with this, the pump should not be turned off unless and until the counter ion reagent solution is present in the tubing or a column. So, all these are nothing but the guidelines to operate the ion pair chromatography. 
Now after considering this that is the choice of a counter ion is very very important then you have to select the appropriate mobile phase as well as a stationary phase and you have to do the optimization of the optimization and the separation of a solvent. Now along with all this the next point is the what are the applications of ion pair chromatography. So the first application of ion pair chromatography is that it is used for the analysis of RNA. Then the second one it is used for the separation of the uh, single stranded and the double stranded RNA. Now after this the third application of ion pair it is used for the uh, it has a ability to do the food analysis so it is also used for the food analysis purpose along with it it is used for the separation of a lactose sugar from the skimmed milk. Then it is also used for the separation of the glucose, galactose and a lactose. Now all the results which are obtained for the ion pair chromatography they are having high accuracy and precision and they are giving highly reproducible result. Along with this it has also found a main application in the medicinal field. It is particularly used for the analysis of the paracetamol tablets. So all these are the applications of ion pair chromatography. So under the heading of ion pair chromatography we have seen mainly the guidelines of ion pair chromatography as well as the different applications of ion pair chromatography and ion pair chromatography here we are considering the pair between the analyte and the counter ion. So the proper choice of the counter ion depending upon the type of analyte you want to separate is the most most important thing in case of ion pair chromatography. Thank you.